When the Classic powers up, the MNGP remote will take you to the main status menu. To get to the wind editing graph, hit the menu button, scroll over to the mode menu item, hit enter, and select graph. Pressing mem will take you to the nine user memories, which you can save or recall, or you can recall some default curves to help you get started. E300i here, recall. And then you can save these or back them up in one of the nine user memories. We'll save it in one, and then we'll hit mem, go up a memory, save it in two, hit mem again, and save it in number three. Each time you recall one of these memories, the curve is sent to the classic, and when you hit enter, it is stored in the classic's non-volatile memory. The wind graph is made of up to 16 points, or steps, with turbine input voltage represented on the vertical axis and battery output current in amps on the horizontal axis. You can move left or right from one step to the next using the left and right keys, and you can vary each individual point's voltage or current in amps using the up and down keys. The classic will start operating when the turbine input voltage rises above step one's voltage set point at zero amps battery current. This point will become the cut-in voltage and should be set somewhat above the maximum expected battery voltage. From there, work your way over to the right until you get to the highest turbine voltage, trying to keep the current steps fairly evenly spaced. If you try to make a bump in the voltage, the editor will not let this happen and it will instead adjust the rest of the curve to keep that bump from happening. Expect software improvements and updates for this editor. And when wind turbine learning becomes a reality, the curve will update itself to reflect the optimized curve that it has learned over time. Remember that the graph that you see on the screen is active in the classic, even while you're editing. If you don't want it to be active, turn off the mode until you're done. When you reach the highest turbine voltage and move its setting up and down, it will automatically adjust the scaling of the graph to fit the screen. After you're somewhat happy with your changes, you might want to back that up into one of the remote MNGP memories and press enter to save it in the classics non-volatile memory. In this version of the software, if you press the status button right away, you may get a got com message for a moment. Pressing the menu button will take you one menu less than you were in last. In this case, we want to go back to mode, press the on button, and press enter to tell the classic to always wake up in wind track and on. Pressing the menu button will again take you to that menu you were just in, minus one, in this case the main menu. Press menu again to take you back to the beginning of the main list of menus. In this case we're changing the absorb voltage to 29 volts. Press enter to tell the classic to remember that. Pressing the up and down button is, changes the Modbus address. Right now, 10, or master, is the one you want. If it gets off and says GotCom, make sure you are on the master Modbus address.